I got the perfect recipe for you for back to school, whatever that means these days. But seriously, this is like a 15 minute recipe from start to finish that is a whole meal in one sheet pan and it is so delicious. It's a flatbread pizzas with egg and spinach and it is from my book, Hole in One, which if you don't have by now, I don't know what you're waiting for because it's so good and there's so many good recipes like this one. So anyway, it's super simple. I'm starting off with naan that I just bought in a store, whole grain naan. Now for this, you could also use pita instead if you wanna just use pita bread, whole grain. That works too. I happen to love the naan because it crisps up and has all those little bubbles in it. For this, it's so perfect. Uh, I'm just gonna brush that with a little bit of olive oil. And what I love about these pizzas is that it really is a meal in itself. Each one of these is a complete meal. It uses some healthy convenience foods. So there's like really very little chopping or fussing to do. So you can kind of whip this up for lunch during homeschooling or working at home or all your time at home. <laughs> at least this is one of the benefits is that you can make lunch for yourself. Um, so anyway, just some sauce, some marinara sauce, and you can use, of course, if you have a homemade sauce, by all means, go for it. But uh, you could also use a jarred sauce. It totally works great, a good quality jarred sauce. It's like one of those convenience foods that I personally always have around, um, as well as make my own sauce. So I mix it up depending on what's going on. It's just really good to have this in your cupboard. Um, anyway, just a little bit on there, I leave room around the edge for like the crust to crisp up. Then helping make this pizza a full meal, some chopped spinach. And I just buy another healthy convenience food, that pre-washed spinach, baby spinach. And I give it a coarse chop so it's easy to kind of sprinkle around here. And that's all there is to it. You, you could buy regular spinach. You could even use frozen, honestly. Just squeeze it dry of all uh, excess water. Then some shredded mozzarella. And that's what's great about making pizza at home is instead of it just being one big sloppy mess of cheese um, and kind of overing, overpowered with cheese as it often is when you buy it in the store um, or in a, in a pizza place, um, here you can put on as much or as little as you want. Got that on there. And then I put on a little extra flavor punch which is these sun-dried tomatoes. Just slice them up. I love like kind of that chewiness and that intense tomato flavor that it adds. Just a whole other kind of flavor and texture um, element. But if you don't have that, you can leave it out. It would be delicious without it as well. So now I'm just gonna make a little hole in each one, a little well to put the egg in. I love an egg on a pizza. If you're a fan of egg on a pizza, raise your hand, give some love because it is really one of the best things. And I don't, I remember when I discovered it, I was sort of like, oh my gosh, this is a revelation. And now I don't know what I would do without it because it's one of those things that add all that great protein, all that good nutrition, so easily, so inexpensively to a pizza. What's not to love? Um, so I crack an egg in there, but not directly in there. I always put it in a little bowl first. Even when I'm baking and stuff, I put the egg in a little bowl first. This way, if a shell gets in there, you don't, you don't have a mess to deal with. You can easily get it out. Um, and then it's also easier to direct right there. And if a little bit of the white comes out onto the tray and leaks over, that's no big deal. It's fine. Um, but ideally, you want to create a big enough well to fit the egg. Okay, egg number two here. So each one of these is one serving. So I'll make up sometimes a batch. Sometimes I'll just do one for myself. It's easy to keep these ingredients on hand. And then last but definitely not least, when is Parmesan ever least, right? It's usually the most, mostest. Uh, so much flavor and I grate it fresh because then you're really getting maximum flavor. Right on top. So this just gets baked for gosh, like 11 to 13 minutes at 450 until the white of the egg is just barely set. And then you let it sit for two minutes, the white cooks a little more, but then the yolk stays 
beautifully runny, which is how I like it. You can cook it more if you don't like your yolk runny. Um, that's fine, you know, everyone has their different way. But let me show you how it comes out. Look at that, isn't it gorgeous? Flatbread pizza, what's not to love, right? Okay, so let me plate one up, show you how that yolk comes out. And it makes a perfect lunch for a school day. It makes a nice dinner, and frankly, I would even eat this for breakfast. I don't know about you. Let me, ah, I don't have a knife to cut this into. I'm just gonna break into it, I think, maybe, huh? Let's see, I'll try again. <laughs> oh gosh, look at that. That is good. Oh, this one didn't come out too runny, but that's all right. It's delicious. I hope you make it. I hope you try it. And uh, cheers to a good September ahead. Cheers.